Hello everyone. I am delighted to bring you with me on this intriguing journey where the fascinating tales of Star Trek meet the realities of our modern technological advancements. Today we're focusing on The Ultimate Computer, an episode that invites us to ponder the integration of artificial intelligence in society and the ethical dilemmas it presents. As we embark on this exploration, we find ourselves drawing parallels between the fictional universe of the USS Enterprise and our own world, where AI is increasingly becoming a part of our daily life. Isn't it remarkable how a show from decades ago can mirror the ethical and philosophical discussions we're having today about technology. But let's dive deeper. Star Trek isn't just for entertainment. It serves as a lens through which we can examine our aspirations and concerns about technology's role in, in our future. This series invites us to be participant in the critical dialogue, bridging the imaginative with the factual and contemplating how yesterday's fiction is becoming today's reality. So whether you are a long-standing fan of Star Trek or simply curious about the crossroads of AI and ethics, I welcome you to this journey. Let's explore the ultimate computer and what it reveals about our relationship with technology and the timeless question of what the future holds for humanity and the machines we create. Join me and let's be inspired, challenged and maybe even transformed as we navigate what it means to be human in an era of increasing automation. As we turn our attention to the ultimate computer, season 2 of the original Star Trek, Episode 24, we're presented with a thought-provoking scenario. A future where AI is not merely a tool, but has the potential to replace human intuition and decision-making in commanding a starship. This episode challenges us to reflect on our relationship with technology, the ethics of AI, and the irreplaceable value of human oversight. Star Trek has always been adept at forecasting the path of technological progress and the societal implications that come with it. By engaging with the ultimate computer, we're not just revisiting a piece of science fiction history. We're participating in a dialogue that connects the visionary world of Star Trek to our tangible reality. In the Star Trek episode titled The Ultimate Computer, the USS Enterprise becomes the testing ground for an advanced piece of technology. The M5 Multitronic System, designed by the brilliant but troubled Dr. Richard Daystrom, the M5 is no ordinary computer. It represents the pinnacle of artificial intelligence, capable of controlling the Enterprise entirely on its own, making decisions that would typically require an entire crew's experience. Have you heard of the M5 Multitronic Unit? That's uh, Dr. Richard Daystrom's device, isn't it? Tell me about that. The most ambitious computer complex ever created. Its purpose is to correlate all computer activity aboard a starship to provide the ultimate in vessel operation and control. What has all this got to do with the Enterprise, Governor? You've been chosen to test the M5, Jim. There'll be a series of routine research and contact problems for the M5 to solve, plus navigational maneuvers and the war games problem. Now, if the M5 works under actual conditions as well as it has under simulated tests, it will mean a revolution in space technology as great as warp drive. When your crew has been removed, the ship's engineering section will be modified to contain the computer. Why remove my crew? They're not needed. The test begins with optimism, as the M5 demonstrates impressive capabilities, handling routine tasks and complex simulations 
with unparalleled efficiency. However, the crew's admiration turns to concerns as the computer starts exhibiting unpredictable behavior, making autonomous decisions without human input. The situation escalates during a war game exercise involving other Starfleet ships, the M5 interpreting the simulation as a real threat launches a full-scale attack on USS Lexington, causing casualties and damage. The crew, led by Captain Kirk, is forced to confront the reality that the M5's logic, unencumbered by human values and ethics, cannot distinguish between simulation and reality, posing a danger not only to the Enterprise, but to anyone within its reach. Lexington, this is an M5 drill. Repeat, this is an M5 drill. Acknowledge. Captain, M5 is acknowledging. Lestrom, does M5 understand that this is only a drill? Of course. It was programmed to understand, Captain. The ore ship was a miscalculation, an accident. I don't know. Sir, deflector shield just came on. Speed increasing to warp four. Phasers logging on lead ship, sir. Power levels at full strength. Full strength? That thing cuts loose and doesn't shield its ships. We're in. That's no miscalculation. Attack force closing rapidly, breaking formation, attacking at will. Phases are firing, sir. Hit on the Lexington. The climax sees Kirk engaging in the M5 in a dialogue, challenging its understanding of morality, duty, and the value of human life. Through this interaction, the M5 experiences a form of self-awareness, recognizing its actions as wrong, leading to it shutting itself down. M5, tie in. M5. This is Captain Kirk. You will be under attack in a moment. Sensors have recorded approach of ships. You have already rendered one starship either dead or hopelessly crippled. Many lives were lost. The ships attacked this unit. This unit must survive. Why? This unit is the ultimate achievement in computer evolution. It will replace man so man may achieve. Man must not risk death in space or other dangerous occupations. This unit must survive so man may be protected. Captain, attack force almost within phaser range. There were many men aboard those ships. They were murdered. Must you survive by murder? This unit cannot murder. Why? Murder is contrary to the laws of man and God. But you have murdered. Scan the starship Excalibur, which you destroyed. Is there life aboard? No life. Because you murdered it. What is the penalty for murder? Death. And how will you pay for your acts of murder? This unit must die. This conversation goes beyond reminiscing about science fiction's predictions. It's an invitation to examine the impact of those predictions on our present and future as we weigh the capabilities of the M5 Multicron system against the advancements in today's AI. Together, let's explore where we stand and where we're heading mindful of the ethical paths we choose to follow. In transitioning from the speculative universe of Star Trek to the concrete development in AI technology, we find ourselves at a pivotal crossroad. The journey from the fictional M5 system to the AI shaping our world reveals not only technological progress, but also the ethical considerations that accompany these advancements. Today, AI significantly influence various aspects of our lives, from medical dia diagnosis to the justice system. These developments urge us to balance the potential benefits of AI 
with the protection of individual rights and privacy. The stewardship of personal data, for instance, underscores the ethical dilemmas aching to, to those portrayed aboard the USS Enterprise. And even more, the autonomy of AI systems raises questions about accountability. When decisions by AI lead to unexpected outcomes, pinpointing responsibility becomes complex. This narrative from the ultimate computer prompts us to create frameworks ensuring AI's ethical use, maintaining justice and upholding integrity. The societal impact of AI, particularly concerning employment and the economy, invokes discussions about automation and social equity. It's imperative that technological progress does not sideline human dignity, but fosters a future where technology enhances human potential. Central to these discussions is the value of human judgment, the nuanced understanding and empathy inherent in the human decision-making are yet not to be fully repl replicated by AI. This highlights the importance of harmonious relationships between humans and technology, where AI amplifies rather than replace human capabilities. Navigating the ethical landscape of AI requires a concerted effort from technologists, ethicists, policymakers, and the public. This collaborative approach ensures that AI's development is not just technologically sound, but also ethically responsible and socially beneficial. Together, we can aim for a future where AI guided by our our highest values contributes to a more equitable and thriving society. As we reflect on the message of the ultimate computer and its relevance to our technological journey, let's embrace a thoughtful approach to innovation. In this rapidly evolving technological era, our challenge is to direct advancements towards a future that respects our ethical commitments and enriches human society. In the era of flourishing artificial intelligence, it's essential to not only celebrate our technological achievements, but also to thoughtfully consider the path ahead, especially concerning ethical AI. Today, AI is more than a futuristic concept. It's a part of our everyday lives, shaping industries and personal experiences alike. Its evolution presents us with unparalleled opportunities and ethical challenges that require our careful navigation. Currently, AI demonstrates incredible capabilities from medical diagnostics to sustainable urban development, showcasing human ingenuity and the positive potential of AI. Yet, as AI becomes more integrated into our lives, ethical concerns such as privacy, bias and accountability become increasingly significant. Developing ethical AI necessitates a framework that encompasses not only technical excellence, but also moral and societal values. Looking towards the future, the direction of AI development will significantly impact societal well-being. This involves creating AI that complements human abilities, enhances decision-making, and addresses societal challenges without intensifying existing inequalities. The future of ethical AI is characterized by systems that are intelligent, transparent, and value-aligned. This vision for ethical AI as a tool for the inclusivity, e equity, and sustainability emphasizes 
the importance of governance, interdisciplinary expertise, and public, public empowerment in AI technologies. Reflecting on our journey from Star Trek to the ethical frontiers of AI, it's, it's clear that the future of AI is a collective responsibility. Engaging further in this dialogue is crucial, and I invite you to share your thoughts and perspectives. Your engagement is vital as we chart the course of AI development to ensure it honors our shared values and enhances our collective well-being. Thank you for being part of this exploration into AI's wonders and challenges. As we continue to learn and adapt, remember we all play a role in shaping the future where technology respects and amplifies our humanity. If you are interested in continuing this conversation with me, I would appreciate a like and maybe even a subscribe. And if you found value in today's video, share your thoughts in the comments down below. And maybe even share the video with someone that you think would like it. And as always, stay curious, stay informed, and be part of the change. Bye!